What's up everyone, this is Scratch and I've got a quick video here for you. We're going to take a look at the new Xbox One experience, uh, which is essentially the new dashboard. It's completely changed. Um, we spoke about it in a couple of other videos. You, I know you guys have seen those or whatever, and a lot of you have been asking, well, can you show us the dashboard? So I think I'm ready to do that this uh, right now, so we're going to go over it real quick. But before I get started, I just want to throw it out there that this video was created on September 23rd, 2015. And it's only been released to the public for, or not the public, but preview members and a very select few preview members. Um, three or four days, maybe. So this is very, very, very early. So if you see glitches or things that you're like, oh, why'd they do that or whatever, this isn't representative of what's going to be released. That's actually what we're working on right now is for me to find those things. So if you find things that you don't like or whatever, feel free to, to shoot the questions over and I'll take a look at it and see. But um, just know that, that this, is, this is a work in progress and this is a very, very, very early version, earlier than most people have it. So um, with that being said, I think we'll just jump right in here. And I'm going to jump over here to sign in. So I just hit the left stick uh, after I start up and I go to sign in. Of course, if you had connect or something, you could do it quicker. But um, So we'll go with sign in there. And then it's going to bring up all of the profiles just like before. They look a little different. You notice the circles. Um, but I'm going to click on my profile, a.k.a. Scratch, right there in the middle. And that will log me in. Now, the first place it's going uh, to take me is right to this uh, highly touted Xbox 360 guide, um, but before or Xbox 360 type guide, I guess I should say. But before I jump into that, we're just gonna kind of come over here to the uh, to the main home screen, and I'm just gonna talk about the dash itself real quick. So one thing you'll probably notice is that the advertisements along the right, because I'm a paying gold member, uh, the advertisements along the right have changed to things that I'm interested in right now such as uh, games with gold because I get free and discounted games uh, because I'm a gold member so there's a handy little link for that right there on the right uh, FIFA 15 um, and then see what's new in the preview and then this big one in the middle is the last thing that I've done which of course was rare replay and then if you scroll down here to the bottom you can see the last four things I did and because I have my tile set to semi-transparent you can see the full view of the background which is pretty awesome um, and then you have options to select, you know, in here it says I've got screenshots, achievements, and things like that. Um, if I go all the way down here to the bottom, I have my stuff, which is pretty cool because I have all of my, my pins are all here, and then my games and apps, if I wanted to access those, they're all right there. Um, nice and easy to get to. So I said all the way down here as if it's a chore to scroll all the way down like this. It's actually not that far down, but even if it was... Um, I can jump back up to the top just that quick or I can jump down to the bottom just that quick um, and you do that by just pulling the triggers so the triggers will take you up and down really really fast on nearly every screen I've found so far which is pretty awesome and then the bumpers will take you over to community which isn't quite as um, filled out just yet um, same with the one guide and you guys are probably gonna call me on this and say well your background is only on the first page that's true that's not necessarily gonna be how it is so uh, it's just that way right now which I think is a minor thing compared to stuff that we can be working on and looking at this early in the game uh, so we have uh, the one guide here's everything with the games so I can come and find out what games are available here's what's popular here's the top free stuff um, so that's pretty cool here and then apps are the same idea new releases and the favorites and then we have movies and TVs, which is a similar setup as music. Same thing. So we're going to go all the way back over here to home. Um, and then over here on the left, which I can easily get to, I can open this. This is the guide that you can pretty much get from anywhere. So if I'm on, say, the one guide and I just double tap, it brings this up, which is really cool because it takes me straight away to my friends. And I can <clears throat> pretty much easily just kind of select who I want to grab here and do whatever it is I want to do with them but we'll look at that here in a second I can also jump in and start a party I can check my messages um, I have um, messages here so it looks like uh, cube directors cut updated um, so I don't know if this is by design or not but here's what I'm thinking so cube directors cut says that it's ready to start so I haven't played this in a while so that leads me to believe that something updated 
And so it re-downloaded the update, and now it's telling me that it's ready because it updated. If it did, that's really awesome because that means if I have a game like Goat Simulator that has glitched achievements, and I sign into my Xbox, um, and then all of a sudden I get a notification that Goat Simulator updated and is ready to start, then I then that alerts me that maybe the achievement, the glitched achievement, was fixed. Now I don't know if that's by design or not, but that's what that's what's turning in my head right now. So I'm going to talk to him a little bit about that, but just know that. This is an all notification center for everything that goes on. So messaging, uh, or not messaging, uh, like party invites and friends online and, and all the stuff that you have set up to alert you will be nice and easily uh, stacked here on the left, which is a huge, huge plus compared to the, you know, the big boxes that went across the screen that just were quite frankly took up way too much real estate um, on the old dashboard. Now they're nice, easy listed. And you can get to them as quick as a double double tap, double tap. Like, that's how quick it goes. You know, like, it's just like that. So I jump down, check the notifications. Um, so then I can go all the way down here and unsnap or snap a different, um, you know, anything else I want. There's Microsoft Edge. You're probably noticing the Windows 10 influence here. Um, that's by design because this is, in fact, a version of Windows 10 uh, for the Xbox. Uh, custom design so anyways um, all of your settings are pretty much the same they look you know they look the same uh, I've I've searched through some of them there are some minor differences nothing nothing major that I've noticed right away but the biggest thing is is the fact that they're everything is separated and categorized in areas that make much more sense than the previous dashboard so I think this is a pretty big pretty big update um, from from that perspective because it's just easier like power and then I just have turn off or restart and power mode especially from a troubleshooting standpoint um, I don't have to tell anybody go over here and then it's like two down from this or anything like that I can just be like yeah you want to go directly to system and there's only four things that we have to I have to try to tell them how to find you know time or, or what have you so that's actually a huge huge welcome change for me um, but to get back up to our friends here, I'll just open this guide right back up. And then I have all my friends over here on the left. I can sort them uh, by recent players, our friends here, um, and then it'll go back. Okay, so if I, if I scroll all the way down here, I think it's looking at recent players now. Yeah, I changed too fast. Okay. There's friends. Okay. So I'm on the friends now. So if I just come down, I can use the trigger trick again to just kind of, uh, you know, jump down through here and see what all my friends are doing. Just kind of scan really quick, that sort of thing. And, and you get through them pretty quickly. This is good for me because I have a fair amount of people to look through. So, like, we'll just jump in. We'll pick on Steineken for a minute, a good friend of mine. Um, so I can click on his name and I can send him a message. I can send him a party invite, views profile, block, mute, or my favorite thing, report him. I'm just kidding. I don't do that. But anyways, um, I, I have access to everything here if I wanted to just send him a party invite really quick. And that's just as a matter of just hitting left and a couple of trigger presses. And I'm looking at the names of who I'm looking for. You find them so much quicker now. Um... But let's just let's just jump in. We'll take a look at his profile here real quick. Um, so Steineken is the Xbox community coordinator. You're probably taking notice of that right now. He uh, works on the program, uh, the ambassador program, uh, which we've spoke about and a lot of you guys ask me about. So he's the he's one of the community coordinators that that works in that realm. Um, and his location is at Steineken on Twitter. And you can see that he's been on Xbox for a a long time for nine years uh, quite a bit of gamer score there and I can look over and I can unfollow invite block mute report send message all that stuff right from the profile now so that's pretty cool um, I go over here and I can look at his feed uh, which like the community social area isn't quite as populated um, you know as it as it was before it's really just showing a lot of pictures and stuff right now but this is all sort of stuff that's going to change like we talked about earlier um, achievements screen is pretty cool actually because it's going to show all the percentages and it shows just one big sort of overview kind of like you get on the website actually and I can see like what types of games he plays like I can see that he's been 
you know, not too long ago, he's played Halo and he's played Gears of War and he's got a fair amount of gamer score in both of them. Um, you know, so I could invite him to those games. I don't know he would play with me because I know he has them. Um, he loves Destiny. Uh, so if I go over here to following, then you can just like before you can kind of look at everybody's friends and see like who they're who they uh, who they're friends with and that sort of thing. And then this other thing here, and you can't really see it maybe on the video. It is small, but hopefully this will change. But you can see friends and games, or I can go down and I can select just games, which I think is kind of cool. So now I can tell by looking at this that Steinekin really likes Smite and he really likes Destiny because currently those are the games that he signed up to try to get alerts for. And it is the two games that he played. Those are his go-to games I know he plays quite often. Um, or you can just go to Friends and Games. So it, you get to be able to tell a little bit more about uh, you know, what your friends have and, and what they are or whatever. Now, if he had something written here, obviously, it would say more than just at Xbox Community Coordinator, but that's where um, that's where everything is there. So pretty much that's that's all I've got for now. I think we'll... Um, I think we'll I think we'll leave it there. If you guys have any questions or want to see anything, I would certainly make more videos and um, I will I will try to do some more and keep you guys up to date. I'm actually going to be pretty busy with this. Like, you know, keeping you up to date is one thing, but the other thing is is we need to keep the the team up to date with what I'm finding and what I'm running into so that we can uh, when this launches for you guys later this fall, um, you'll be you'll have something awesome and i think we have like a huge 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 improvement right now um particularly how quick i can get to somebody's profile i mean i just i i freaking love it like if i just double tap this and i go over here and i start and i come down here and start pulling the trigger i can get right to somebody and be like okay i'm going to sniffles and then i click on his name and let's send sniffles a party invite done and it just takes a couple of seconds instead of going through like five, six menus. So as this stuff improves and, and the changes roll out, there's a whole bunch more that has been teased and talked about that isn't in this release yet. So stay tuned for more. I want to thank you guys for watching. And um, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell your friends. Um, check out Xbox Ambassadors uh, at um, ambassadors.xbox.com. Check for a link in the description to that. And give a shout out to my buddy Steineken. Tell him Scratch sent you. Thanks for watching.